We're all set for the second day and the second match of this home 500 presents Triangular Series, the Tri-Series between Nepal, Netherlands and Namibia, of course, Nepal and Netherlands. They batted out yesterday in which Nepal was defeated by 20 runs and the home team will be facing Netherlands today. Tugon University International Cricket Ground in Kirtipur is the venue that's the home of cricket in Nepal and we're all set for yet another contest. He can contend. Oh, he has gone after Karan Casey straight away up in there. Three fielders running behind it. Falls on no man's land. An expensive over of Palid Rasbansi's first over. Karan Casey balls from the Chobar end. Slaps it again and straight to the field this time. A very good catch. The safest pair of hands on the field. Grabs it. And it's Max O'Dowd who will have to walk back to the pavilion because this was a short delivery. She first up and Max O'Dowd has been dismissed in this fashion. Let's have a look at that. Who else? Dipendra Singh Uri, the tiger pounces on the delivery like a tiger pounces on its prey. In the passion he started, he's over. Oh, this time he has gone aerial and connected really well. Karan Kisi, it was in the good length area, but there was width for Levitt to. Here comes with the fifth delivery of the over. Slashed. Really hard and a boundary to follow up that massive six. Six followed by a four with the last delivery of the over coming up. Good comeback by Colin Casey again. Shy at the stump, but this time I think there will be overthrows. It was inside the crease, so there was no obstruction on the field. Driven really well. And we'll find the fence again. Now runs coming thick and fast. Comes down the track this time. There could have been only one result and the ball has flown all the way. Look at that fitness. How long has he been carrying it for? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because anything that's short will be punished. And the intent was good from Sompal Kami, but the back flow was so quick. Levitt has become more aggressive than how he started the innings, mind you. There you go again. Balled into that stomp, middle stomp line. He crashed it, made room for himself. For Nepal. Gives himself that room again and this time again, not exactly what he intended, but gets a boundary. Can you produce a maiden here? Oh, this time a stronger appeal says no and the reason could have been only the ball pitching outside the line of leg stump. His, he cannot leave it, Dipendra Singh, Aidi. Just be there, rotate the strike, be at the non-striker send and give it to Levitt to face the number of deliveries. This was always a threat. Going with the spin, which is gone. And this is one of the biggest sixes you have seen in the series so far. And that's the 50 for Michael Levitt, the debutant. Only the second player to score a 50. Half chance there for Rohit Kumar Porel and this time. Oh, the plan has worked. The plan has worked from Kushal Malla. He was consistently balling around that off stump reason. And the big man, Michael Levitt, departs a big wicket. Better, the batter was looking to play too many shots this time, pitching the ball outside the awesome net. You can see an easy stomping. So, wicket number two goes down the danger, man. Now, Kushal Burdel coming into ball. It's up to the Nepalese bowlers trying to pick up some more wickets and put it this time drifting down the leg side and swapped it away. Ball traveling to the final leg boundary region for four runs. That's a fabulous side. Large oh, spectators falling. This time onto the backward, played it away towards the long origin, couple of bounces and the ball will find towards the fence for four runs. Just played with that bat, oh, brilliant shot, just playing according to the field set. So Nepal has to be mindful and take regular wickets if they have to restrict Netherlands. In the meantime, a beautiful shot from Scott Edwards. One of these two batters will have to cut loose now. And as you said, this time it's a French cut and the ball traveling to the final leg bound origin at the moment to go for some quick runs. It becomes William. This time I played it away. Reverse sweep and the ball traveling to the judgment bound region for four runs. You can see the large number of spectators who have turned up here. A couple of easy pickings. Kushal Malla this time dragged it short, played it into the gap in the onside. The fielder did a valiant job but couldn't stop it. Pitching it short this time inviting for trouble the batter said thank you very much ball raced towards the boundary is building slowly quietly getting those occasional boundaries and what's happening is the things are not going nepal's way been gone by miles so everything at the moment is going towards netherlands ah, yes! Come on! 
Is that a wicket? A great throw. Who else other than the Tiger, Dipendra Singh Airy? What a wonderful piece of fielding. So finally, the wicket has come. Let's have a look at that. They were trying to convert that one into two. Dipendra Singh Airy racing from the boundary, grabbing it with his right hand through straight to Asif. Great effort from Asif, great sensible effort and crashed into the stumps. He's a fabulous player. He does his job, whether batting, bowling, fielding. He's absolutely brilliant. Let's try running the ball towards the goal. The ball piercing the field and the ball traveling to the backward point region for four runs. Such a precision angle bridge there. Let's have a look at that. Played it really late. Well, Angle Brush has the other option this time around. It was on the slot, hit it on the full. Thank you very much, Sid. What that was a, a terrific shot. Short of then ball onto the back and they whacked it away towards the side screen. The ball traveling, traveling over the fence for the maximum for six runs. In G20 cricket, you need those variations. A delicate touch this time. The ball will go all the way to the boundary. Landed in no man's land. Straight back at him. This was hit like a tracer bullet. They still have 11 more deliveries to go. Run making has been difficult and this will certainly help their cause. Lucky for the Dutch team inside edge. He's just trying to play with the baller's mind. I think this is the right way to go. This is what he should have done in the previous delivery as well. Timed the ball well. Didn't overhit it. Inside out. And there was boundary written all over it. The 10th over. And Nepal have given away only 83 runs so far in the remaining 10. This time he gets underneath it. But won't be a boundary as well. They've come back for the second run and an easy run out. So the last ball produces a wicket for Nepal. And Netherlands could only manage 184 runs after the end of their 20th over. So Kushal Burtil, second duck, second consecutive duck interesting things to see that I observed yes in the meantime we'll talk about that the balls in the air slashed it hard running towards the boundary up she goes another boundary let's clear the infield race towards the boundary went after it Asif Sheikh in fact followed the ball really well but he was in two minds whether to go for that dive comes down the track again he likes playing that shot Rohit Portal oh this was a very, very risky single. Michael Levitt, the guy who did the trick with the bat, has come to ball, drifting towards the leg. I think this was calculated risk. Just over the tall man, Max out. Depending on the idea to come, Sandeep Zora. Oh, he's gone with his shot up in the air. Will it clear? Yes, it does. The first six over the boundary line for a beautiful looking six but mind you that ball didn't travel much it just cleared that six of the third what do we have here very delicately played this time it's not only about hitting when it comes to Asif Sheikh this time he realized that the third man fielder was just a touch square Edwards knows that Nep Nepalese batters do not enjoy playing playing against peace but this time he does do it Podil Giving answers to your question, Sachin. Rohit comes down the track again and he goes against the bowler again. Consecutive boundaries this for Rohit Podil. Observing every delivery in the meantime, King Ma is here. Against Rohit Podil, hit it in the air. That ball has traveled all the way towards the leg side for a big, big, big six. So 50 up for Nepal in just 31 deliveries. What a wonderful partnership. This time just swept the ball. The ball is racing towards the boundary and it will go over for Rohit Kumar Powdell. Not just holding up to Van der Merwe. Even Gary Kirsten must have loved that shot against Van der Merwe with the taunt. Playing that shot down the leg side for a four. Well, absolutely too much of experience in his pocket. Captain Scott Edwards would be definitely looking to break this partnership at the moment. Once again, trying to play that sweep shot. There's no fielder out there. The ball will reach towards the boundary. 
Vandermeer got yeah. in that very first yeah. Listen, please. I was telling you how experienced he is. Saw the batter coming down, pushed it outside the off stump. There was no chance for Asif in playing that shot. A oh, beautiful delivery, beautiful and just tempting Asif Sheikh to come down the crease. And look at that trademark celebration from Vandermeer. We have seen this throughout the years, this celebration from Vandermeer. What a way to break the partnership, a much needed wicket for the Dutch side. That provides an opportunity for baller on the other end to, to take wickets because they have to continue the run flow. Two is the call. Oh, Roy Kumar Portal running at the danger end. A bit of slopey work there by the skipper Scott Edwards. Aryan Dutt is he's cramping him for the room, bowling down the leg side. This time he goes towards the offside, pays the prize. The ball flew, went miles over the boundary for a magnificent six. Well, look at that shot from Rohit Kumar Pordel. The ball soaring into the stands with that colossal six. Oh, what a shot there. The compensating over this time. Once again, playing that unorthodox shot. A bit lucky. Once again, Rohit Kumar Pordel. The dance from the van. They are enjoying it at every moment out there. Rohit Powdell said, I can do that as well, but was mighty close to that fielder. Good afternoon, Sachin, and good afternoon, dear viewers. Yeah, very much Nepal, very much in the game. This time on to the backward parallel, the way towards the deep square, like Richard. Oh, he missed and made a mess of it. And the ball traveling to the fans for four runs. You can call your family and tell, watch me live on TV. The moment to become a celebrity. You are being watched by millions. Oh, chance of a run now, misunderstanding between two of the batters, but that was a wild throw, let me tell you. With Kumar Portal cap this time, playing up, it's lead towards the long on region and the ball traveling over the fans for the maximum six runs. 96 for two. Let's have a look at this again in the replay. This is not that short, but Kushal Malla picks it up. It's now. But, but straight into the hands against the run of play Kushal Mallow will have to depart from here Allah slashed at it hard but could not go over the point fielder and the momentum has swung again so another wicket goes down here for Nepal so with that single Rohit Powdell completes his 50 he scored 42 yesterday his team needed him he had to come in and play it big 84 now needed, Sanjeev. Very gettable. Yeah! Yeah! Massive appeal. Umpire not interested at all. In fact, yeah! he's given it. For a moment, I thought Devinder Subhiti had tried away from there. Big, big fish they have captured. Skipper Rohit Kumar Powell, who was batting sweep up. There you can see, trying to sweep it away. I think it's a question of LBW. Umpire waited for a while. And then, in fact, the ball ballooning up. What is it? LBW or catch out? We have to wait for them pass single. He has raised a finger, but what is it? LBW or catch out? It has to be catch out because the only thing that would have saved Rohit Powdell from that LBW shout would be the ball striking the gloves. These two batters will have to put their heads down. It's very important now. They just can't afford too many wickets at this point of time. This time one of the backward played it away. Four runs. That area, he likes staying deep inside the crease and cutting everything even if the ball is not that wide. This time it was. And Vandermova has conceded a boundary off the bat of the Bender Singh ID. Sanjeev. That's very good sign. This time, River Sweeper played it away. Ball traveling to the deep point bound region for four runs. Terrific shot. Rotate the strike, go for ones and twos, or go for the big boundaries because they have to make sure that they stay. They have to maintain the required run. This time, one of the back pulled it away, and the ball will find the boundary for four good runs. Short in line, plenty of time for the batter to walk onto the back foot and with the horizontal bat pulled it away for four runs. Attempt of a pull and immediately the finger raised. There was no length to play that shot, Sandeep Zora. Tried to force it, not paying, in, paying him off. In fact, it has taken his wicket. Let's have a look at this. I think that was a pretty easy decision for the umpire. It was the same pair yesterday who actually caught Nepal back in the hunt, straight up in the air. This was a nothing shot, really. Sompal Kami. 
he dug his own grave on this occasion nothing short it was not needed as well a wicket had just fallen he went for that back foot punch shot in the air innings is something what is required for nepal at the moment and dipendra singh airy is the key man for nepal slashes it hard clears that infield the ball racing towards the boundary getting those singles and doubles that's his bat speed kiran because he swings the bat so hard is naturally aryan dat on to his final over now one for 27 short pulls and dipendra singh airy strikes this big This time, lucky again for Dipendra Singh Aidi. He threw his bat at it. The connection was not that proper. Ten runs of the first two deliveries. Can the Tiger bring Nepal back in the hunt? Very aggressive. He can be innovative as well. Oh, one bounce over the fence. Crowd erupting. And the thought and the thinking went right as well because targeting Aryan, who has not been very consistent today. Leading Nepal's cheese. Oh, he has hammered this. Wow. This is stand and deliver by Dipendra Singh Aidi. A wonderful hit for six. And that also brings up his 50. Probably telling everyone I'm not going to celebrate my 50 because I want Nepal to go home. He is the tiger and the tiger is roaring. Form is temporary. Class is permanent. And a tiger will always be classy. Slap this straight in front. Will it go all the way? Yes, it does. It's Karan Casey this time. Listen to the roar of the crowd. Will it be Nepal? Will it be Netherlands? Will there be a super over? Anything possible right now because Nepal need 15 runs to win. But the crowd now, fingers crossed. The first delivery comes down the track. Comes Dipindra Singh Aidi. Plays it towards the extra cover reason and a boundary to start with. What a start for Nepal. The first ball has been clubbed for a boundary by Dipendra Singh ID. I'm getting excited now, Sachin. I'm losing my calculations here. 11 runs, 5 deliveries. Dipendra Singh Ayuri in a strike. So 11 needed of 5 now. Very doable, very doable. Comes down the track again, takes it on the full. The ball goes straight up. Where did that come from? Oh, Dipendra Singh ID, you beauty. This Matt the six out of nowhere, Dipendra Singh ID. It will be interesting to see in the replay. He came down the track, took it on the full. He barely managed to reach to that delivery. Where did the power come from? Take a bow, Dipendra. You need a big heart to play this sort of shot under these sort of circumstances. Getting towards Nepal's side, just five needed of four deliveries. Smashes this again. He is getting really, really predictable here and comes back for the second run. Oh, this is a run out. Against the run-up play, Dipendra Singh Aidi knows this. Self for his senior pro, Dipendra Singh Aidi, the right thing to do. But I think this was a suicidal call. Now just three runs needed. Everyone who knows Nepal's cricket in international arena loves him. Here comes Bender Murph yes! down the ground. And he misses it completely. The middle stump crashed it. Dipendra Singh Ayuri is out. And there is a binder of silence here in TU. Such a big role in this beautiful sport. He knew Dipendra Singh Ayuri was looking to come down. The trajectory was very flat this time by Van der Merwe. Van der Merwe, Netherlands, down the leg side. It will only be a single and this is how Nepal have succumbed to a defeat of only two runs. It was a wide delivery. He tried to go after it, Pratis CC. The crowd stunned. He cannot believe it. Kulsanja consoling Pratis CC, but he looks really, really disappointed because the length was there. The line was drifting as well. He, had he had just a bit of bat, the ball would have flown away over the heads of the final leg fielder but not to be and against the crowd's expectation Nepal have considered a two runs defeat